What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Justity 4 here. Bring us another Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay today. I managed to go 49 kills and 12 deaths. This is like my third or fourth 49 kill gameplay here in this channel. And, um, you know, the reason why I keep getting 49 is because the games are not long enough, right? So if you're gonna give me like crap about, like, oh, you always getting 49 kills, why can't you go higher? I can go higher, but only if I unlock like the lightning strike or any other kill streak out there that allow me to get more kills. If I were to unlock those, I should be able to get more kills. But all I got is the rolling thunder and some care packages, and I wish I can unlock the AGR or whatever it's called. I wish they would have called it the AGR again, because it's literally the AGR from um, from what's it called from Black Ops Two. That was a badass kill streak, by the way. So. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can do right now. I can only keep calling care packages because this year the care packages, let me tell you guys something. The care packages are very helpful this year. They don't have extra ammo. They don't have like uh, only spy planes and counter UAVs. This year they actually put something into them. You know, they actually give you the rolling thunders. They give you the final kill streak. They give you the hatter. They give you every single high kill streak you can have in this game. Unless it's just for the Black Ops 3 beta, of course. Then, you know, that's just something which you just need to get excited for because, you know, the game needs it. You know, they're like, all right, give them everything that you can in the care packages so they can be happy. So, I'm pretty sure they can, they're doing that because of the beta. So, I don't know. If it does stick to, uh, through, the, like, through the regular game, then that's super cool. That we, They're giving us a lot of cool stuff in the care packages. So, the care packages this year, I'm telling you, they are very... Not OP, but I'm telling you, they're they're very caring for you. No, this year they're actually called care packages. So um, yeah, anyways, compared to uh, this weapon, to my other weapon that I'm using, uh, which is the uh, Vesper. You know, the Vesper was uh, pretty much of a beastie ass weapon. I'm telling you, you can kill your enemy before they even kill you, and they even shoot you first. But you have a hundred percent chance, one hundred. All right, I'll, I'll just say 99.8 because I know most of you guys are like are gonna say like nothing's perfect and blah blah. I'll just say like 90% of the time, all right, you still have a chance to survive after being shot first. All right, that's the Vesper. That's my other SMG. I already did a best class setup for it. I already did some few gameplays with it. I said just check them out just in case you know you're about to step into the Black Ops 3 beta because I know the Xbox players right now are gonna be receiving the Black Ops 3 beta and everything you know overnight and. Uh, you know, I suggest to watch these videos in order for you guys to get an Xbox up. Anyways, the Vesper was a beast. And then I unlocked this weapon after reaching level 32 because, you know, the cap level was level 28 like a few days ago. And, um, well, it reached 32 on Saturday. I managed to unlock the VMP. The VMP, all I can say is, I, it just, I, I think it just needs the long barrel, the foregrip, and maybe a little other uh, attachment that I need to test out yet. So... Uh, I'm barely testing out the VMP. It does, you know, it is strong. I'll tell you that much. It is as strong as the Vesper. The thing is, it still shoots super slow because the Vesper originally has high, uh, you know, firepower. I mean, not firepower, uh, high firing rate. It originally has it. Like, you don't even have to install it in that weapon. This weapon is maybe like two blocks down in the firing rate. You know, they don't have the same, but maybe like two, like minus two in scale. When it comes up to the fire rate, so it's almost the same thing, and damage is almost the same damage as the Vesper. So they're like quite similar guns. It's just that um, the, for the Vesper, I really need to unlock the rapid fire in order for me to see if this gun can handle itself from short range situations. Because um, you know, this weapon is still untested, like I'm saying, like I've been telling you, like the whole video, it's still on test. So, uh, but I believe the Vesper is the number two best SMG in the whole game of Black Ops Three. My number one right now has to be the Vesper. Because I already told you guys some gameplay. I'm telling you, I can survive if they're being shot. And then this one can kind of do the same thing. It's just that it needs a little bit more rapid fire. That's all I'm asking for this gun. A little bit more rapid fire. A little bit more accuracy on the side. And maybe we can hide ourselves a, you know, an overall round weapon. But after all that, I'm telling you the Vesper is still number one. But it's good to have a second backup SMG. Just in case you're getting bored of, you know, always su uh, succeeding with the Vesper. You know, this could be your backup weapon. So... Pretty much that is, that's all I can say about the VMP. That uh, it just needs a little bit more upgrades, and then I'll tell you guys uh, the best class setup first. So you guys can be ready with the with the VMP ready to go, like level 32. But I'm not sure if Xbox, you know, Xbox One players are gonna be like already like capped at level 32 or something. I'm not sure where you guys are starting at, but if you can get to level 32, then you can unlock the VMP and then pretty much do the setup that I'm about to do in a few hours for the VMP. So um, it's a good weapon overall. It's just a, it needs a little bit more testing. So that is it, guys. I don't want to talk about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay. It was an, a great demolition gameplay. And by the way, this is a map they gave us to us on the, on the PS4. 
but like three days after, right? And it's a badass map. I'm telling you right now, to always vote for this one when it comes out to demolition, because there's multi paths on one side, and then the other side is like open area. Like it's just insane. It's just total craziness because you can actually actually kind of flank the enemy like around I'll say 70% of the time. You have a lot of chances. So um so yeah, it's like a, there's like a lot of surprise factors to do here in this this map. It's pretty awesome. I really enjoy uh, voting for this map like most of the time, and uh, along with my friend called Nuclear Pro. My friend and I, I mean, we were owning on this map like for 10 matches in a row. We won like 8 matches in a row, and then we lost the 10th one because we were like all lazy and my thumb was already giving up on me because, god damn it, my freaking PS4 controller doesn't even have the little rubber on anymore. So, yeah, I mean, I was doing so good. I was averaging like around 30 to 40 kills, you know, per gameplay with this weapon with the VMP, and then I'll switch out to the Vespers half of the time, and, um, you know, it was just total ownage. We were owning, man. It was crazy. So uh, that is it guys, if you guys enjoyed this little talk, uh, if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay, there's going to be more coming up because I did save so many gameplays on my computer that, you know, it's, it's going to keep on going till the end of the beta, until the end of the beta for the Xbox One. So that is it guys, subscribe for more, like the video, and I'll see you guys later for more Black Ops 3 multiplayer content.